We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. We'll begin with perhaps the most critical health care need, nursing. Erica Gruss cannot ever remember seeing her father walk. When I was two months old, my dad was in a car wreck and he became paralyzed from the shoulders down. A senior at Connemaw School of Nursing, she's leaning towards a nursing career in rehabilitation. A lot of that stuff that they do there are things that we've done with my father. Working with them to get them to be able to use things that are injured better, their arms, legs, get them to walk again. I thought that was really neat because making a difference in their life is you know, showing them how they can you know, get back to where they were before their accident or before their injuries. Erica will graduate in June with more than 1,000 hours of clinical experience. It's one of the hardest two years of my life, but I am learning a lot. I do, I like it, it's just it is one of the toughest things I've ever done. <laughs> I mean, they, they'll tell you right off the bat when you, um, you want to actually apply there, they'll tell you this is an accelerated program and that means you really got to work. While Erica is a traditional student, starting nursing school right out of high school, plenty of other students are anything but traditional. Last year of our class of 80, about 70% of our individuals that came in were what we would consider second career individuals. So we really are seeing more and more. I was selling insurance. I sold uh, supplemental accident and health insurance for a company based out of Chicago for 10 years and my husband was reading the newspaper and said they are always hiring nurses. You always mentioned that you wanted to be a nurse. What do you think about going back to school? And we sat and talked about it and that was on a Friday afternoon. Monday morning I made a phone call and I got the ball rolling. But we've had individuals come in from the steel mills, from the mines. Um, we've had a few teachers that have decided maybe nursing is a good option for them. So we get all kinds of backgrounds. In Memorial's emergency department, you'll find RN Heidi Wild, a one-time interior designer. It was good for me for a while, but I was just ready for a change. Um, and I'd always had this inner desire to be involved in medicine. Like Patty, Heidi liked the idea of being able to start a new career in just two years. And now the emergency department feels like home. I love the changes in the emergency room. I love that we go from one experience to the next. I love the different mm -hmm. contact that I have with people and that we pretty much are self-sufficient mm -hmm. in the emergency room. So we have the capability of seeing a patient from start to finish mm -hmm. till they're admitted. Registered nurse Chuck Rudder, now with Wimber Hospice, is also a bit non-traditional. He was one of only six male nurses to graduate from Connemaw School of Nursing in 2004. One of my patients once said to me, she said, when did men become nurses? And I, I was floored by that. And I said, probably around the same time as women became doctors. And she was one of my favorite patients after that. Now men make up about 25% of the Connemaw School of Nursing's freshman class. They are really drawn in by the technology a lot of times, but a lot of them really love that one-on-one -on -one interaction. And again, the opportunities are really, really out there. You have to be very dedicated, and it's a life-changing event to get through nursing school. But once you get there, it's a great, great career. You get gratitude from seeing somebody and making a difference in somebody's life. That's, that's the reward. That's the benefit of nursing for me. A lifelong nurse, Connie Romoko, can't imagine doing anything else. It's the best thing I ever did. It really is. When I walk through the doors, I just feel like I am at home. Connie started out in intensive care nursing at Miners Medical Center and now has a wide variety of administrative roles. But the career field is wide open with, uh, you know, administrative type jobs, teaching, um, insurance companies, at schools, at, at um, you know, factories, at being an occupational nurse. There is just so much out there. By the year 2020, there will be an estimated shortage of 800,000 nurses. So the job outlook is excellent. And according to Connie, life as a nurse is never boring. Always new medicines, always new procedures. And um, it, it's just, the day-to-day -day surprises that you get. If you're thinking of a nursing career, a strong science background is a plus. You can check out more requirements and get information on our website at www.conema.org. Some nursing scholarships are available through generous donations to the Conema Health Foundation.
For more information on the scholarships or on making a donation, you can call the Connemaw Health Foundation at 534-3133.